So you're looking to get started in motocross or enduro, but you're unsure which pieces of safety equipment are must-haves and which are just nice to have. So today in the 24MX workshop, we're going to go through eight essential items that every rider from beginner to pro must have in their gear bag. Hi guys, I'm Max and welcome to the 24MX workshop. Now, it can be quite a daunting thing getting started in our sport. There's a lot of safety gear that you need to consider. But today, we're going to try and help you out by going through eight of the items that you must have in order to go riding. And we'll start with the most important thing, protection for your head. So it goes without saying that you should never go riding without wearing a helmet. And this, the Raven Aspire, is a nice option. It comes in multiple colours, has standard features such as a nice ventilation system here to keep you cool in the summer, double D closure, nice soft padding that is removable and washable. The Raven Aspire has a fiberglass composite shell. It's ECE approved, so it's going to protect you in case of an accident, which at the end of the day is the most important thing. You can look for cool designs and cool colours, but at the end of the day, it's all about protection. The Raven Aspire is also nice and lightweight as well, which really does help you in a long moto or a long riding session you're not going to feel too much strain on your neck so that's the raven aspire a nice helmet at an entry level price point so of course you shouldn't go riding without a helmet but you should also never go riding without protection for your eyes it's not like just getting your cast on your arm to fix a broken bone so goggles are very important and here we have the raven halcon goggles you can see it come, they come built in with a nose protection there to protect you from roofs or rocks coming up from the rear wheel of the bike in front of you. We've also got some tear-off pegs here so you can add some tear-offs to the lens to keep your vision clean for longer. The Halcon you can also get in a roll-off form so if you prefer roll-offs you can get that as well. And you can switch your lens so if you do buy the Halcon version that we see here with the tear-off pegs you can just switch out the lens to get the roll-off version so that's a nice handy little thing. Also the strap you can see we've got silicon lining on the strap and that's just for better grip on the helmet to make sure the strap doesn't slip at all we've also got oversized ventilation here to keep you cool in the summer as well as triple layer foam for better fit and better comfort as well we've also got a better view of the outriggers here like i say that's to get just a better closer tighter fit to the face whilst wearing your helmet the lens is also anti-fog and anti-scratch which is a really nice feature so the Raven Halcon is a really nice option to keep your vision clear and your eyes protected. So let's move on and look at some gear. You should always go riding in gear that has been designed for the job. And we've got here the Raven Verve kit. We've got the jersey here and the pants here. But let's take a look at the jersey first. So the jersey is made from this nice stretchy breathable material. The cuffs again are stretchy to avoid a tight fit on the wrists and that helps avoid arm pump or cramps. On the back we've got this nice silicon design here on the extended back piece that's so when you tuck your jersey into your pants it's got grip it's not going to come flying out and you're going to have a, a tail or a cape whilst you're riding so that's a nice feature the raven verve kit comes in a range of colors to suit your style or preference let's just have a look at the pants as well so we have the pants here and as you can see there's a lot of stretch panels placed around here on the ankles in the crotch on the knee and that's to help increase your mobility whilst you're riding so you feel free and easy to move and not restricted in any way knee pads and knee guards or knee braces can cause a lot of um, wear and tear on pants so here on the raven valve you can see we've got this nice leather material on the knee area that's nice and thick to protect against that wear and tear so that's a nice feature there as well and it also provides added grip between you, your knees and the bike, which is one of your main contact points. As you can see, we've got a nice fade free sublimation there. So your graphics aren't going anywhere. They're going to stay there for life. On the waist area, we've got a rubberized waist here. That's for grip to make sure the pants aren't falling down whilst you're riding, which is key. I think you'll agree. We've got a nice adjustable buckle here, two buttons and a nice long zipper, strong sturdy zipper, which is important as well. On the back here, you can see some nice waist adjustment to make sure they fit you properly so that's the verve pants and the verve jersey kit that is specifically designed for the job okay so we've mentioned the gear but we can't ignore the gloves here we have the raven verve gloves that match the kit 
They've got a couple of nice features on these gloves. You can see we've got some silicon lining on the fingers here. That's for better grip on the clutch or the brake lever. We've got some extra padding around the thumb. That's to try and avoid those nasty blisters while you're gripping onto the bike. We've also got a nice, tight, strong Velcro fastener. So that's a Raven Verve gloves. Now, Liat is a company that specializes in the safety of riders. And here we have the Liat 3.5 chest protector. Now, in some countries and some organizations, it's mandatory to wear a chest protector if you want to go racing. And this is a very nice option. It offers exceptional protection, but it's still comfortable to wear. As you can see, it's quite nicely vented to keep you cool during the summer months. And you can see here Liat's special 3DF foam that offers great impact absorption on the front and the back. You can also see we've got adjustable shoulder straps here. So the Liat 3.5 chest protector can fit riders of varying sizes. So that's the Liat 3.5 chest protector. Like I said, in some places, in some countries, in some organization, chest protection is mandatory. So it's always a good idea to have one of these in your kit bag. So one of the most common injuries for dirt bike riding is a knee injury. So knee protection is a must. Now there's a few different options. You can get knee pads, knee guards, knee braces. They're kind of three different levels of protection. The knee guard that we see here is the mid-level. They're kind of, it's not a knee pad, but it's not a knee brace, which are often very expensive. So I would suggest that a knee guard is the way to go for a beginner starting out in the sport. So this particular knee guard is the Liat Dual Axis. As I mentioned previously, Liat are a great company that put riders protection first and foremost. The Dual Axis knee guard here has an anatomically correct pivot point there, and that will just help avoid hyperextension whilst you're riding the bike. Like I said, knee injuries are very common in the sport, so you're gonna to wanna to try and do everything you can to avoid them, and this is a great option to get started. No matter how good your knee guards are, the likelihood is you're always gonna experience some sort of abrasion or abrasion sores where your guards are rubbing against your skin. That is unless you're wearing a pair of these. These are the 24MX long socks, and I personally never go riding without wearing a pair of these. As you can see, they're just a simple sock and a legging that goes up your leg, and that's just to stop that abrasion of the knee guard rubbing against bare skin. They make riding so much more comfortable and keep your, your pants and your knee guards, your knee pads fresher for longer as well. So I couldn't recommend these enough. Finally, let's talk about boots. Once again, you should never go riding without wearing a proper pair of boots. And for me, it's always a mix between safety and comfort. Like I mentioned earlier, lower leg injuries are very common in the sport, uh, your ankles, your knees. So boots offer a lot of protection if you get the right pair, but you also want to feel free and comfortable whilst riding as well. And these boots here, the Liat 3.5 boots are a nice option at an entry level price. So as you can see, we've got a very nicely shaped toe box, which makes gear shifting very easy and also makes you feel not so bulky down there on your feet either. We've got these nice buckles, easy to use buckles. Anyone can use these. They tighten up very easily. So this is another product from Liat, of course. And like I've said previously many times in the video, Liat are a safety first company. So there's many protection elements here in the boot. So down inside the boot at the ankle area, there's a soft padding wrap for extra comfort and protection. The shin plate here again is reinforced with a strong material. That's again for added protection. And you can see the mold here on the sole has a dual zone hardness for, I guess, better impact protection on the foot pegs there. So that's the Liat 3.5 boot. Once again, you should never go riding without a proper pair of boots. And these are a great option, like I said, at an entry level price point. So there we are, guys. We're now covered head to toe and we're ready to go riding. With these eight items, we're going to be safe and comfortable. So I hope you found this video useful. And as always, my name is Max. This is the 24MX Workshop. Until next time, thanks for watching.